get ready to cook two meals. Let me finish washing my turkey wings. My husband's been doing some turkey wings and I found the family. So I'm cooking him some turkey wings. So probably some dressing. Or maybe not dressing, I don't know. He'll have to see what he's on. He might want this up. Uh, cheddar broccoli macaroni. I put this right on there all the time. I call them this. Let me finish washing this. Put this on the table in there. Now, when I turn this off, y'all probably gonna hear my uh, sink grinding. I don't know why I make that out of it. Now, again, I already got this one out of the wash. that all washed and ready. <sighs> Hold on y'all, my baby girl calling me. I'm back y'all. Okay, and now I'm gonna make a beef stroganoff for my two daughters that's here. And I eat either one of these, it don't matter. So, I just get some hamburger meat and, you know, cook that. And then, y'all, I'm sorry about this sink that y'all got here, but I gotta continue to wash my hands. I have to wash my hands. Season this uh, hamburger meat. You know, you just season it to taste. Season that. Season it back there, y'all. And one just fell, so. season mine y'all before I put add water in here. My husband he'll clean it, add water, then he'll season it. But I don't do that. Can't go wrong. I'm not gonna stick my hands in there, so I just pour it in my hand and then, you know, put it over there. I'm gonna give it a good rub too. This might seem like a lot of seasoning, y'all, but it's really not. It's really not. gonna rub it. Rub it real good. Get it all mixed up. And then you just gotta put it in there. Some people try to fold their things back like the chicken wings, but I can't do that. So I just lay them like that. Then I'm gonna add some water to it. You know, like halfway. Don't add enough, don't add a whole lot of water. Just like halfway. Okay. And then what I do is I season my water. I try to season around it. You know? Just season around it. Alright, and then put some foil on it. I 
oven. My oven is on 325. I don't know if y'all heard that. My oven is on 325. And then I'm going to cook this bad boy until it gets tender. Probably like three or four hours. Because you got to make sure it's done and tender. Let the hamburger meat cook. I'm going to let the hamburger meat brown. And then once it's brown, I add my noodles, which I use egg noodles. Why egg noodles? But you can use whatever you want. And then I use, uh, put the rest of what I'm going to put up in there. But I'll let y'all know when it gets to that point, okay? I'll come back. But the turkey wings, they won't be done for a while. And I might not make a side until my husband get here to see what he want with that. But, uh, so this is cooking. Okay. Once I'm ready to add my other stuff, I'll come back. And then I'll let y'all see how I make it. Okay? So y'all, I'm about to make me a smoothie. Yes, indeed. I got a little headache. And I think it's because I'm on a, um, today, well, yeah, just today. I do it at least two times a week. I'm on a 24 fast. That means I don't eat for 20 hours and I eat for the four hours. And it's, it's, it's well. I like it. I like it a lot. But anyway, this is my smoothie. I just got... I don't have no kind of particular nothing. I just put some greens in there, some kind of fruit, and then I put a little bit of this agave in there sometime. And it's all good. This is a smoothie that I'm gonna get ready to drink. So now I'm gonna see y'all later because I know y'all don't want to hear this loud blender. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I thought I was recording, but I browned my meat. And then I added um, these egg noodles. I added these egg noodles. And I'm just going to, I got my burner on low. Well, it's on two. That's low for me. And I'm going to just cook these until they um, cover them and let them cook until the noodles are tender. And then I'm just going to add some cream of mushroom. And, let me get this. Sorry, y'all. Cream of mushroom and some queso and that's it and i'm just gonna uh taste it and make sure it's seasoned good and that's gonna be the dinner for my daughters and y'all please don't say nothing because i usually cook my cornbread you know uh well jiffy cornbread child but i found these in the store and my daughters absolutely love these so i'm probably gonna make a can of these cornbread swirls they right over there by the biscuits and cinnamon rolls and stuff they are so good oh my goodness so when they're done i mean when everything is done i'll probably take a picture because y'all i'm finna go enjoy this smoothie all right y'all finished product y'all this stuff is so good i'm telling you and then those are the um cornbread things so so good oh this is another meal i cook y'all this is smothered pork chops and uh my homemade mac and cheese and some pork and beans and those are just the fried pork chops those are how you do this first in order to make the smothered pork chops my husband couldn't make up his mind whether he wanted fried or smothered he better be glad I like cooking. But that's another meal that I just, I eat. And that's all you got to do is portion control. Or one meal a day. Got to find a way to work it out. <laughs> 